Hello, 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 Old Man Gamer here. We're going to take a look at Creatures of Sonaria by Sonar Studios. And you can get a few badges. Not very many, really. Because you can't get the first two. Because I don't think this is in beta anymore. And you can't get the Christmas badge. You can't get the Valentine's badge. Oh dear, no badges for you. Here's a brief description of things that you can do in the game. So if you want to pause for a second there, go ahead. And then we're just going to go ahead. Uh, it's an interesting game. Uh, it's partially for all, but it does have the ability to fight. So this is um, also you start out with only one choice of creatures and the Breck Quick, which is a flying critter. Um, and then you move on, I guess, at, at some point or other, you get other options to choose from. But thus far, I have not seen anything else. But then again, I've only tried it a little bit, and I had to step away from my computer, and I got eaten. And I uh, stepped away from the computer after I made another one, and I don't know what the heck's going on right now. It's still loading, I guess. And when I came back, I was starving of both thirst and hunger, and so I went to find a plant to eat, and as soon as I landed, another dinosaur ate me, so that sucked. Alright, so we're going to create a creature, and as you can see, the Requeque is the only one that's available. And, as you can see, it can be a healer. They're light on their feet and fast in the air, flying like hummingbirds. I would not say they're that fast, and they do not fly like hummingbirds. Although they can hover, they are very awkward at flying. Uh, they can walking also. Uh, I don't know if it's the game mechanics or what it is, but the walking and flying, it's really hard if you want to have a, make a tight circle. Um, you, you can't do it. I, I tried. I was trying to get to this bush. I landed next to the bush, and I kept on trying to get next to it by circling, but it wouldn't let me circle tight enough, so I gave it way around and around the bush. That was very annoying. You do have 300 health. Damage you can give is 20. Um, your speeds depend on whether you're um, walking, flying, or running. And your weight is 90. You grow every 7 minutes. And tier 1. Uh, I don't know how you get these other critters that are shown here. This is all of them. They're all question marks. Um, I can't click on them. So nothing happens when I click on them. So, what? Yeah, I suppose if you wanted to click on my creatures, you could do that. But, uh, you know. Take a look at that for a sec here. are all the different kind of gotchas you can choose from. And I'll get the random gotcha if I can. Alright, random gotcha. <coughs> Click me to spin. You can get the griffin, the rivia, the rivia, yeah, done. Oh, whatever. There are lots of possibilities, but most likely you're going to get... Buy 35 and it spent all my money. money. Alright, well, so you can earn. Got those by playing and getting a hold of stuff. 
stuff, uh, apparently. So you can you have storage, tokens, you have species, you've got all these wonderful ones. Uh, let's take a look at the Dragonix. Dragonix. Alright. Wow, 1700 health, 100 damage, 16 walk, and 75 run, weight 650 growth. 17 minutes tier 2. Opportunistic scavengers will eat anything they come across in the wild and usually don't hunt. Tend to be more subtle creatures with more above the first level. They are roamers and don't have territory, but will stick in the area for a while if there's food. The Yipir, 750 health, 60 damage on 18 walk and 80 run. Speed uh, weight is 400, growth is 7 minutes tier 1. The Yipir are rowdy, agile, metallic. They are often seen challenging other larger creatures in order to defend themselves. They are social and perform their shoal, shoals through hierarchies. Or the shoals are being, I don't know what that means. The larger, more colorful Yipper being of higher rank. Uh, somebody invited me to join their pack. Okay, whatever. Uh, so I guess I'm going to start out with the, this guy. Huh? Oh. Alright, well. Uh, okay, I don't know where the heck I am. Oh, by the way, I, oh yeah, that's right. This is for coloration, so you can change the colors. Click on the color you want to change, and then click on the color you want it to become. And you can change the brightness. Not really see any difference. Uh, pattern. Oh, that's right. Click on the color first. Okay, so let's try... See how that works? Brightness doesn't seem to work. Go back to that. Alright, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this as it's undoubtedly going to get used up. So I'll click on this. And I'm going to play. Alrighty. Alright, so there are things that you can do uh, with your character. Like if you want to see creature info, you press K. Right, you can see the age of my kit, my critter, and you can, the silhouette shows how big it'll be eventually. You can also zoom in and zoom out, of course. And let's see what else is there. If you're an, uh, an adult, you can press N to place a nest, and then I think it's N. No oh, B, sorry. Okay, H shows you where water and food are. So the blue one is water and the green one is food. Currently don't have a, a big need for it. Now you can use the shift key in order to what the heck? I somehow glitched under the world. I've noticed that there are problems with this world. Uh, being a bit glitchy, somehow I've ended up in the water, and I'm not sure if I, oh, maybe I can get out, no, oh, oh, that disappeared, lovely, maybe I can get out here, ah, oh dear, this is even worse, what the heck, I'm stuck, see how awkward it is to turn with this game? I guess the I guess the good news is that I am in, I am safe from predators down here, and I'm gonna die down here. So I can't even show you that because the game has glitched. So let's just reset. The game got stupid, and now I have to kill it, delete it. All right, let's try it again. That was annoying. It definitely is a, a glitch problem. Slot one, mail, whatever with all that coloration stuff. 
Okay, let's try this again without hopefully any glitches. Alright, so you can search for food again. H is, oh, sorry, uh, H is the key you use. Green means food. Blue means water. I don't really need either of them any, uh, right now. Once you get to them, you're going to want to press E. And it'll tell you when you're done. You can also look at, in the bottom left corner, you can see thirst and hunger. When those are full, you're full. Okay? When they're going to be empty, then you can start to take damage if you wait long enough. M shows you the map, and uh, currently I am up here in the plains. Let's see, what else was there? Um, that. Seems like there's something else. Okay, so T to drop your food, hold to eat. So I've got food with me right now. Oh, um, okay. I look very goofy with that thing. I guess I'm holding on to it for dear life because I don't want to lose it. All right, well, I don't know what the heck that was. That was a bit weird. Oh, it's snowing. Nice. It'd be hard to fly. Well, I don't know how to fly with this critter because I can't fly with this critter, so I don't have to worry about that. Top of what? Top of what? You keep on saying the same thing, I keep on asking the same question. Until you change the question, I can't answer it. Oh, that's the, uh, I don't know, I don't know if, that's, if the uh, snow icon indicates how long it's been going on, or how dangerous it is, I don't know what it means. I don't know, I already said I don't know. Okay, so, your cold gets sheltered to warm up. Decreases walking runs speed 10%. Your stomach empties 10% faster. Okay. Well, I guess I'm sheltering. I'm not really sure if this is considered shelter. Maybe I should go back to those bushes over there. Oh, I just grew to my next form. There's only one more form for this creature. And... Well, not now. Okay, I'm sheltering, even though you can't see it, I'm inside of a bush. It's kind of, uh, I guess it's so that you can see what's around you when you're in the bush. I'm not really sure. It's an attractive critter. And let's go ahead and... R is for rest. There's another one that I... And Y is for lying down. There's another one that I found in the... So I'm gonna have to. Oh, it's N. If you hold down N, you kind of do that. So I wonder. You can't. Yeah. So N helps you to kind of hide from predators a bit. Which is exactly exactly. exactly. All right. So I need water right now.
This is a weird thing. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill this critter off. And we're gonna try the drop the door right next. Okay, so this one, I'm hoping this is going to be easier to use. Put it in here. Here, I don't really like the color that this one has currently. I'm kind of on ball, but whatever. Okay, let's. about R and Y and N. Oh, so I don't know what that means. And, uh, okay. Information about it, and right now it's thirsty. Yes, it's not thirsty. It has no thirst. It only has hunger. I can't very swim. Do it very well in the water. Clearly, good lord, look at that. It's like a slug in the water. This would be a, um, a flower you find in Indonesia. It's very, very rare. It doesn't have roots or anything like that. Um, and it smells horrible. Um, I think it's Rafflesia Arnold. Yeah, it's really good. I saw a picture of it with two Indonesian children standing next to it, and it's bigger than the two of them. They could have had, it could be like the size of five people, I think. I don't want to pee in the water! I don't like being in the water. I move like a slug. Come on, let me out. I, mean, I can't even jump. That's annoying. That's very, very annoying. This one is the other is another one that's in the same group as the Rafflesia Arnoldi. I forget the name of this one. This is probably another Rafflesia. It is the tallest flower uh, flowering plant in the world, and I don't think it has roots either. Uh, I don't um, they're, I have never actually seen how the scale of them, but they are very big as well. Oh. Rafflesia. It's named after a, um, a British guy named uh, Raffles. Some, uh, probably, or it was named in his honor. You know, botanists and stuff and, um, love to name things after themselves to have their names immortalized, which to me is just a little bit irrelevant to the species. Not a little bit, it's really stupid actually. But you know, some people feel they've got to have their name on things just because they discovered it. They didn't make it! But I can't eat that. Okay, i got to find food that's on, that moves. I don't eat plants. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stay out of the water. Oh my god. I hate how poorly you can turn in this game. It's really frustrating. So it's. Look, and look at this. This is so glitchy. It's just. It's so 
faster. I die of hunger before I find something, someone to eat. I got eaten twice. Look at this! I'm stuck! Should be showing me green, not blue. But I'm just really frustrated. Why am I in the cold? It cannot be cold. Yeah, look at me. I'm flying like uh, 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 my tail. I imagine. Apparently. Okay, I'm gonna warm up because that, that was cold. Yeah, I can actually swim faster than I can walk in the water. I don't know, but I'm apparently a glider. Uh, so let's just take a look here. Um, there's nothing about flying. Yeah, there's nothing about flying. It's not flying, it's gliding. Yeah. Is, yeah, I'm going to die of hunger because I haven't been able to find it. Yeah, I have to find an animal. I know what that means, German. I just I don't understand how I'm supposed to get to it. I'm gonna tell this guy to eat me. Oh, I forgot. No, you have action. You need only meat to survive, but at night you lose strength. Oh, that's your health right there? That's my level. I think that's for the levels. Uh, your health then? Shh. I don't understand. So I guess this animal. Okay. I think that's pretty much as much as I am going to be able to show you. Um, you can actually. I'm. I'm in a pack, or I was in a pack, I'm like, I guess the first time or something like that. Boy, I'm with some big boys. They're not squishing me, so that's pretty remarkable. All these giant critters living together. Well, they have more patience than I do. This game is not well developed enough for me to want to stay in it. Thank you very much for watching, and please be a kind gamer.